Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf. We're back again, and welcome back to the channel. We are here with episode three of our No Money Spent series, and today we are getting started with the XP path, which has, as many of you know, has let us down. It, it the rewards are not great, unfortunately, and it just is what it is. But we still got to grind through it to try and get all these rewards, all these coins, all these packs, even though the packs aren't that great, but we just gotta do it, we gotta grind through it. And I mean, at the end of this, we get this 87 Jack Ico, which looks absolutely amazing and will be the best card for many people in the game. A new XP path also means a new XP path for wild card, which actually has some decent amount of packs and coins. Again, not great. I feel like the rewards could be much better, but at the end of this, we do get a cover athlete, which you can trade six of them in for a uh, 85 overall cover athlete, which would be huge. Now here we have another one that we get for free and there's a choice of three players. It was Trevor Zegris, it was Marcus Naslin, and it was Joe Sackick. Now I had a really hard time between Sackick and I believe in Naslin. I ended up going with Joe Sackick because this car looks absolutely insane. And in previous years, I absolutely loved using him. But like you could see here, I'm just looking at everyone's stats and all in all, I ended up going with the main man, Joe Sackick. And now we're just swapping everyone out. I was going to put Joe Sackick in for Logan Couture, uh, just to move him down. So that means we have Joe Sackick on our second line for the time being. We have uh, Logan Couture coming in for Mike Medano, and then we are gonna swap Lundell and Alex Wenberg, and we are going to throw in Mike Medano onto the fourth line. I know what you guys are thinking, why is he not on the third? I think I eventually end up moving him around, but this is what the team was looking like after acquiring Joe Sackick. And now it's time to get in to some moments that get us another 82 overall cover athlete card. So it's time to grind through that and see who we can get from that pack. Uh, EA is giving us free 82s. It helps out our team early in the year. The rewards are bad, but moments are good. All right, let's see what these packs have in store for us. That grind for the challenges is a no brainer. And we, we just uh, unlocked a bunch of stuff. We got our first XP reward path stuff as well, which is that 80 season overall player. So we're gonna go as we usually do from least to worst in packs. Uh, at this point, I don't think 76ers are making our team at least forward core. We still need a good right head to shot defenseman, like pretty much any team in the league. Sounds like the Leafs kind of after they, before they got Chris Tanev. But anyways, so what we're looking for, our forwards are pretty like pretty good right now. We get a right handed, a right defenseman, but he's left handed. TJ Brody, former Leaf. Uh, 79 overall player. All right. Be something good. 79 could make the team. Let's see who it is. And that's literally the worst possible outcome we could have got from that. A 5'10 goaltender that will never be used. That's amazing. All right. So now we got two random 82 overall uh, cover athletes. I'm going to wait for that. We're going to do the 80 overall first. I think who I, I know who I'm going to take. And I think it's going to be none other than Darcy Kemper. Unless there is a good right-handed defenseman. Ooh, Jamie Drysdale might be the play for me, actually. The next guy we take might be our boy, Darcy Kemper. We do need a right-handed shot defenseman, and this is a good-looking card, especially if you only upgrade him one. Even if you don't, you leave him at that. He's got some pretty good stats. He's pretty fast, decent shot. So I think Jamie Drysdale is going to be our guy. So that's a good addition to the team. Like I said, we needed a right-handed shot defenseman, and uh, the game delivered. All right, so now we got two random 82 cover athlete choice packs here. So... Andy Mog, not good. Literally one of the worst ones you probably could get. And we're on to our second one here. Someone that could be usable to the team would be ideal here. Two goaltenders. This game hates me. All right, so that's just great. They're going into a set and we're getting Austin Matthews, honestly. We should probably get Kale McCarr, but it is going to be Austin Matthews. Once we get these 82 overalls, we're trading them in for an 85. It's either going to be Matthews or McCarr. And as a Leafs fan, I kind of want it to be Matthews. So, yeah. After the moments grind, we ended up deciding to get Deeks done with her X Factor and Power Up Icon players. You get 50,000 coins for completing it. So what I did was hopped into squad battles on rookie difficulty, and I took the puck into the zone and just started toe dragging around the AI. This took me a total of two games to do between both X Factor and Power Up Icons. And like I said, it was just an easy 50,000 coins. If you guys are free to play and you want to get that done, it is very simple. And as you can see here, I'm just raking in the coins here. The power up icons, I was able to get some of them done in the first game as well. And then if you look at the X Factor one, 
I thought I completed it. I missed it by one. So I had to go into another game to get the icon one done anyways. And I got the X Factor done in that game as well. So like I said, it took me a whole two games to get about 50,000 coins into my account, which is actually insane. And as you can see here, we're getting, we finished our second game. We're getting more coins and we run up our bank total to 167,000 coins just by playing offline games. We have yet to play an online Hut Rivals game. After that grind was all said and done, I decided to trade in all of my lower overall players to try to trade them up to 75 uh, plus cards so I can use them for the X Factor Choice Pack because eventually I do want to make all the X Factors and trade them in to get that 84 or that 83 William Nylander. Uh, so eventually, we got to do that. So we traded in all our lower end cards to get 75 pluses. And then it's also good to have 79 pluses to use for just any other events. So here we're using the tedious process of just swapping in those cards in and out of the sets. The packs we're opening now are 74 to 75 player items and we're banking on 75. And realistically, we only got one 75 overall player, which was this Lazone. I think I said that right. And then we got a 77 Josh Manson, who we ended up tr uh, adding into the team for Kevin Miller, upgrading our defense, which was desperately needed. So we have him with Ferraro, Drysdale with Gonchar, and Dursey with Coffee. Time for a new wildcard path. So last time I did wildcard in the last video, I uh, didn't do it right. I didn't know that you could choose wild cards from your team, uh, which is actually insane. So what I forgot to do was click wild card and it would give me a wild card player for my collection. So yeah, all right. So let's get building here. It's kind of like, okay. So how much cap space do we have actually? Salary cap 25. So we got what, 23, like 24.1. I don't mind that. Okay, now we're good. All right, there we go. Okay, we're learning as we go, really. I don't know. It's just like, how many pokes for me to get the puck? You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's straight penalty shots now? Ooh, you suck. All right. I guess it's just straight penalty shots now. I'm so good. Bad? Oh, that's... You, you, you don't like to hear that, that's for sure. Domi. I don't know. Maybe you see the puck in front of you, you go for it. I, uh, oh. Brother, if I would have lost that, how does that puck get through Domi's stick? Go, gun chart. God, he's just so good. There's no way he's quitting, right? So 76 overall player and 1,500 coins. Nice. The coin total continues to go up. And level four of the actual XP path, which I don't know what it is. Another 1,000 coins. Lovely. Bango. One more game and we get 300 extra XP, man. Another random 76 overall player. These rewards are so rewarding, dude. I love it. All right, we got, we're up to level seven here. Worldwide, worldwide, worldwide launch pack. Three pack, bless me, let's go. Here we are, bang, awesome, bang, awesome, bang. That's not bad, actually. I mean, hey, let's just open these up. I th There's really no point in me showing this into the, into the no money spent video, because it's like, what are these cards really gonna do for us right now? Honest to God. Nice, Martin Jelenos, 175 plus. It's a 75 plus, hold on, hold on. It could be something. Awesome, Reggie Leach, welcome. And then we got an NHL booster pack, all right? Maybe there's something hiding in here. I I, I don't know, man, let's see. Marty Broder, I mean that, an 82. That's our highest pull this year. Um, We might even use him, honestly. We'll take a Marty Broder. P.K. Subban. Yo, we got a Devil's Icon pack going on here, man. And an Oilers jersey, which I'm honestly going to take the coins for. Thank you. I'm trying to see Cap. Bang! As we're listening to this song that the YouTube video cannot hear, but bang. We're making prog- We're almost like- We're close to getting this done here, which is nice. Another Worldwide Launch Players pack, which I think- Worldwide which I think that's where we got the brother from. So it could be a decent pack. 
And now this was our last game in the wild card path. What a weird goal to go in, but I'm not complaining. We ended up finishing the wild card path in about an hour. So we get another random 82 overall cover athlete player. And we have a worldwide launch players pack where we don't get the greatest, but we do get a Jason Zucker, who's a 78 overall, who will be great for set. So it's a dub. All right, random 82 overall cover athlete. Just don't be a goalie because all we've pulled our goalies out of this so far. And it's Chris Pronger. Our left side is really good. I don't know if we'll be able to use him. He is pretty slow, man. I doubt we'll use him. But honestly, dude, it'll be good to try to... We have two of these that we can throw into a set and try to make a cover athlete. The thing is, it's very expensive to make the other 382s that I need to make. It was time for another grind, which was to complete the cover athletes week one objectives, which gets us another 82 overall cover athlete. We had three days left on this, so I thought let's get it done now. And again, I did the same thing into squad battles on rookie difficulty, four minute periods, and just did all the objectives that I needed to do. D took shots, scored goals, got hits, and got it done pretty fairly easy. I didn't just get it done here i believe i also got it done in some moments but here you can see me collecting the coins for everything and uh we're looking at what other objectives we needed to get done and uh here we scored 250 goals which netted us 5,000 coins we are now over 200,000 coins guys which is actually insane 219 to be exact and then here we start our game breakers uh, challenges which net us six game breakers collectibles which we can trade in for some packs all right, we grinded through all those challenges, finished, finished the objectives we need to finish. So let's go clean that all. And then we got a bunch of packs to open and we have the collectibles to trade in, which I think I'm going to do an 84 for. So this was a grind. It took an hour. The last moment took me about three tries. I'm not going to cap. All-star difficulty against the avalanche is not a fun time. That being said, we finished our cover athlete. So we get another random 82 overall cover athlete, which... We're two now away of making a 85 cover athlete, which is absolutely huge. So we'll collect all of that. That is lovely jubbly. And then we have 15,000 coins for taking 1,000 shots on goal. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, our coin total is looking good, man. I, I really don't know what to do with the coins, but for now, this is what we got. All right. So now we have seven items in our inbox, which are going to be the game changer, cha game breaker challenges and the hat trick daily collectible that I got. And before we go open up all the other packs, like I said over here, I think because we don't have any pre-order items on our team, the play is to go for an 84 overall game breaker, which is that. That's what I'm going to do. We have a chance at Riley and Mika Zabinajad. So we got an all players pack. We got a bronze player pack. Random 79. We got a bunch of packs to open right now. Really just hoping for the best here. All right. So let's see. We'll start with the bronze plus players pack. I, I don't think we're going to get anything from here. So we'll see. You just never know. 70, 74 is not bad, actually. We'll take that. Right now, all I'm looking for out of these packs is... 75 plus overall so i can make x factors to get that Nylander x factor that is the play here right uh so let's see if we can get that in here it doesn't look like it that pack was duty wow we got a random 79 overall player could honestly make the team as well but again good for sets wendell clark leaf legend wendell clark lovely don't think his cards actually his card's not bad it might be usable this year all right wendell clark that's not bad we got two random 76 overall players so we'll just skip through that really uh, Dan Bouchard, sure. And uh, Jonas Johansson. I didn't really react to that for some reason. 76 overall. Okay, cool. That's what we were guaranteed. And reward players pack. Apparently, these are a little juiced in terms of getting 75 pluses. So, hopefully, that's the case here. Bang. Connor Zary. We'll take that. And a Pontus Aberg. All right. Not bad. Uh, Connor Zary. Like I said, we might have enough players to make an, another X Factor. We might do that next video. We'll see. We'll see. All right. What do we got in here? Josh Jacobs. And a 78 Adam Graves. Like I said, give me the 75 pluses. We need them for the X Factors. I'm not doing team builders. They're too much to do. And 79 pluses we need because we might need to make two cover athletes actually. So that's not too bad. Uh, Mason Lowry. All right. All right. Uh, second last pack of these. Ron Sutter. And an Andre Vala. Sure, sure, sure. So now we got the random 82 cover athlete. Just don't be a goaltender because that's all they were giving me. Who's it going to be? Claude Giroux, W, actual W. He's making this team. We are throwing him on right after this. This card's insane. We'll play making forward. That is a dub, man. We love that. Mika Zabinajad's a play out of this. I wouldn't be upset with Riley though, but Mika would be the play. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's Morgan Riley. That is all right. I will definitely take a Morgan Riley. Uh, like I said, our left side is insanely good, but it's an 84. He's better than anything that we have. And he has tape to tape. Uh, we'll take a Morgan Rally. Don't mind if we do. Robbie Fabry is going to be the odd man out with bringing in Claude Giroux. And then Couture is going to the fourth line. 
with uh, Saad and Sagan. Our third line is Rodriguez, Giroux, and Lundell. Our second line is Modano, Heischer, and Caulfield. And our first line is Curry, Sackett, and Edgedale. Actually, we're going to throw Modano up on that top line uh, with Sackett and Curry. And that looks pretty good to me. Now, like I said, Morgan Riley is going to be coming in for Chris Pronger. We don't need to use him anymore for cover athletes reasons, even though he was good. But we're going to throw in Morgan Riley onto that top pair with Sean Dursey. Uh, Gontra is going to move down to the third pairing. So that means Mario Ferraro is off of our team as well because we have Paul Coffey just sitting there and uh, I'd rather use Gontar over Mario Ferraro in my opinion. So huge dub with an 84 there, huge dub with the Claude Giroux on our third line now too. Can't really complain. And like I said, now with the Claude Giroux that we pulled, we have three out of five. Obviously Giroux's not in here because he's on our team, but eventually we can make two more, which requires 79 pluses, which how many do we have is a question. I'm not 100% sure. Two, we have two, all right? so. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it. I wanna make that awesome Matthews eventually. And again, we have 240,000 coins in the bank account. Let me know what I should be doing with that. Uh, honestly, I think it's gonna be like either a base McDavid or we're gonna go out and try one of the cover athletes. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for episode three of our No Money Spend series. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe button down below. We're on the road to six thousand subscribers if we can hit that as soon as possible that would be greatly appreciated and let me know how you guys are doing are you guys no money spent this year you guys been spending money let me know in the comment section down below i love talking to you guys but anyways guys like i said that is it for today thank you guys very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later Peace.